In this section, we are discussing about the coastal geomorphology of Kerala. Coastal geomorphology is the study of dynamic interface between the land and oceans. Coastal landforms are the result of interaction between the exogenic forces, geology of the coast, as well as its topography. Kerala has a coastline of 590 km. Both erosional as well as depositional landforms are found in Kerala coast. Moving on to the erosional landforms, first is sea cliff. It is a vertical or near vertical hard rock structures found along the coastal line. Cliffs are found in Varkala, Bekal, Kannur, Chowara, Talashiri regions. The peculiarity of cliffs in southern Kerala is that it develops in crystalline rocks, while in northern Kerala it develops both in crystalline as well as in laterite rocks. The next erosional feature found in Kerala coast is the wave cut platform. It is a bench like or is a narrow flat area found at the base of a sea cliff or the shoreline. Extensive vehicle platforms are absent in Kerala coast, but minor vehicle platforms are found in Kovalam, Varkala, Talasheri, Dharmadam, Mahi, Elimala, and Bekal. Then the depositional landforms. First one is beaches. Beaches are the temporary areas of sedimentary or sand deposition exposed to the wave action along the coastal line. I'm just mentioning about some of the beaches in Kerala. First one is the Kapar Beach. It is a beach where the first foreigner was Goda Gama from Portuguese Lantern in India. Then Kaurna Beach, it is located 12 km south of Tiruvannathapuram district and it is known for its silvery curls and coconut palms. It is an important tourist destination of the world. Then the Varkala Beach. The Varkala Beach is known for its mineral springs and Varkala Cliff is also a typical feature here. It is a sedimentary formation. And it has been recognized as a geological monument by the Geological Survey of India. The Varkala beach is situated in between Kollam and Tiruvandavaram district. Then Padinarakara beach. It is situated near Ponani in Malapuram district. The peculiarity of this beach is that it is a confluence point of river Paratapura, Tirin river and Arabian Sea. Then Muripilangadi Beach. It is located in south of Kanu and it is the only driving beach in Kerala. Then Kanwadirta Beach. It is located 3 km from Manjeshwaram. It is the northernmost beach in Kerala. The other important beaches are Somatiram, Tangashirin Kolam, Artungal, Cherai, Fort Kochi, Tanu, Chavakar, Kodikot, Dharmadam. Erimala, Bekal, Kapil, etc. Then the second feature is bar and spit. Prominent bars are found along the river mouths. Northern coast of Kerala, especially the north of Erimala, has prominent bars and spits. The longest one is the Kavai Banyaparamba bar which has a length of about 19 km. Isolated spits are found in Tarshidi region. Next is the barrier beaches. Barrier beaches are sand ridges in our nature parallel to the shoreline and rise slightly above the high tide level. They are separated from the coast by means of lagoons. Barrier beaches are found in Eirimala, Alapura and north of Kollam. Kerala is well known for its lagoon and extraves and they are locally known as Kayals. The Alapura lagoon region is known as the Venice of the East. 
the major lagoons found in Kerala are Kavai, Agalapura, Shasta Kota, Kodungalu Varapura, Enamethil Manangudi, Velayani, etc. Okay, next story is Lash River merged with a sea in a transitional zone near the river mouth and is called X stories. The water in an X story is a mix of fresh water and salt water and is called brackish water. The major X stories in Kerala include Uppala, Kumbala, Chandragiri, Bekal, Erimala, Malapattanam, Dharmadam, Talashiri, Kotekal, Mahi, Kallai, Bepur, Punani, Vembanada, Kaingulam, Ashtamudi, Paravur, Kadinangulam, Veli, etc. These all is for today's section. See you next day.